Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. In this video guys, we are going to again explore some of the great functionalities of Hugging Face but our focus is going to be on Transformer.js. So as you guys know, in the past few videos, we have been doing a lot of Hugging Face models, fine tuning, spaces creations and so on and so forth. But what we want to do is we want to create all these generative AI applications but only just with JavaScript, HTML, CSS. And how to do that? For that, Hugging Face has provided us an awesome JavaScript library that is called as Transformer.js. Now why is this important? This is really important guys because some of the developers who are like me who are super lazy, they don't necessarily want to learn an entirely new language just to use these large language models. For example, for somebody it might be a little bit of an overhead to learn Python or to learn about Streamlit or Gradio or something like that. But they are really good, they are really proficient in their front-end technology frameworks like React, Next.js or even simple JavaScript, HTML, CSS. So for those developers, Hugging Face has developed this Transformer.js library where you can actually import those large language models and actually create some interesting apps with them. And obviously, because these are all uh, you know client-side scripting related apps, they are going to be fast as well. Okay, so without taking any time further, let's get started. So uh, already I gave you a little bit of introduction about Transformer.js guys, but let me also introduce you to some of the documentation of Hugging Face uh, of uh, Transformer.js. If you just go to the Transformer.js Hugging Face page, you will see this quick, uh, you know, getting started page here and you can see some information about that. But What's the most important thing to note here is the supported task and models. Okay, so I already told you that Transformer.js is a JavaScript library, so you don't have to read about that in this page. But what you should definitely refer to this page when you are creating your own Transformer.js app is about what models and what tasks are actually supported. By that I mean guys is that although Transformer.js does support a lot of large language models in its library, it doesn't support all of them. So for example, you can see that in natural language processing, conversational models are not supported. So for example, if you want to use something called as Mistral or Llama and all these billion billion parameters model that can help you, uh, you know, create a conversational chatbot, you will not be able to do so. But there are certain other models which you can definitely use, for example, question answering, sentence similarity, summarization, etc, etc, okay, text to text generation, even translation, right. Now comes the interesting part and that is the multi-modality features of Transformer.js. So Transformer.js not only just support text-based models, but the good thing is that it supports vision and audio models, tabular models and other multi-models as well. So if you guys have seen my previous video, I did a very small, uh, you know, object detection app to Transformer.js and I showed it to you. And that is a sample app which you will always get when you are going to create a Transformer.js space on Hugging Face. That's a default app that you will get and it's actually using a vision model. Okay. And now comes the audio model. So obviously you can see there are a lot of... Uh, you know, speech recognition models that are mentioned here. So you can use them to create your own transcribe uh, app, audio transcription app. Then you have got your tabular classification and your, you know, multi-model uh, based models as well, which include document, question answering, feature extraction, image to text, etc. Et okay. So definitely this page is really important guys and I will put the link of this page in the description below so that you can refer it when you are creating your own Transformer.js app. So that was all about the introduction guys. Now whatever we want to explain, we are going to explain it through our code. So let's get started. So first thing first guys, I want to show you the bot which I already made and you can see that it looks like that in Hugging Face space right now. But we are going to create this app and on our local machine and then we are going to see how it works on our local and exactly it will be working on Hugging Face Space as well. Okay, so let's see. Now, I will actually jump through all the boilerplate code for you guys. So you can see here, this is my Visual Studio 
and I have this HTML file which is basically that is going to render our bot then I have got a JS file and that JS file is for now it's a very simple JS file so what's gonna happen here is that you have this chat box okay so if I go to my index.html this is a chat box and this is the input where you will type your message and whenever your message is typed and you click on the send button or you press enter on the send button uh, it is going to take your input value and it is going to get you some answer but for now the answer is your question itself okay so we are not actually uh, using any large language model this is a very simple UI where whatever you type and that is your question and uh, basically the bot answers you the same okay so now we have to see how it works on our local machine so let's go and try to run it so right click and open with live server okay now you can see here that uh, it looks a little bit like this so if i you know write hi and I click on send the bot will also say hi to me if i say how are you it is not going to actually answer my question but it is going to repeat what i just said okay so this is a very simple bot and we have not added any transformer js to it now it's the time to actually add a transformer js okay so i hope you guys are excited about that let's go back to our code let me close this window let's go to index.js so first thing first guys what we have to do is we have to import from transformer js something called as pipeline okay what is a pipeline now first of all let me import it for you guys so this is the pipeline okay so what is the pipeline guys basically uh, in case of pipeline if i show you the transformer js page it explains it here really really well that this is a medium to actually load your models okay so let's say you have got your pipeline object or pipeline function in your python as well right and what that pipeline function does it also loads your model loads your prompt gives you know sorry uh, loads your model loads your context and then you can use that object to actually do any prediction to give you any answer right and it's exactly same in javascript also it works the same so you can see the python pipeline is almost identical to the javascript pipeline okay so now let's go back to our code so the first thing is that you have now imported your pipeline okay and then the next thing is that uh, because we are downloading the model from the hugging face hub there is a local model check that happens okay and you don't want that check to happen because it takes a little bit of time and uh, you basically want to allow all the local models to be running on your machine okay because when you are going to upload it to hugging face space you don't want it to take that much time because hugging face hub has a model locally so you just want to you know run it quickly as quickly as you can okay now we have imported the pipeline we have our environment it's time to actually use this pipeline to load our model okay so what our model is going to be it's going to be a question answering model okay and this pipeline is going to take the question answering model and specific to question answering it is going to take the distilled bird base and case distilled squad model now if you want to search any different models you can again go back to the transformer js page so you can again go back to the transformer js page again and you can click on models so for example natural language processing and let's say if you go to question answering you can click on models here and you can find all the models that you can use for me i have just used a basic one okay so now let's go back to our code so this is the model and you have loaded it now in your answerer uh, object basically now now it's the time to actually use this answerer uh, model to answer right so we are going to actually go to this uh, function called as get answer because this get answer function is the one which is actually populating the chatbot answers. You can see a chatbot answer is being populated here. So first thing first is that, that this is a question answering model. So because it's a question answering model, you need a context or some text for it to answer your question. Right. So for me, I am going to create a context object 
and that context object is basically going to have information about two YouTubers, namely uh, Mr. Beast and PewDiePie, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. So I've got two uh, context as a huge text, uh, which is just explaining about their journey and who has the most subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now this is our context, right? Now it's the time to actually use this context and answer our question. Now so we just do constant and that becomes our output becomes equals to await and then use your answerer uh, object which you created before and you just pass question and you pass context. There you go. There you go guys and that is it. So basically what is happening is that this answerer object is a asynchronous object because it is going to take a call and then it is going to give you some answer. So that's why the await keyword is before it because this is asynchronous and that is why the get answer function is also you have to make it asynchronous. Okay. But once you get the answer, it is populated into this output and then you can replace the question value here with output dot answer. Okay. Now. What's happening here is that just to explain you, we have got our context, you have your uh, answerer object which is taking the question, taking the context, giving you the output and this output has basically a object called or an attribute called as answer which you can write here and it also has some probability as well but we don't need that, we just need the answer. Okay, so let's save this and now let's look at it a bit. I think this looks okay-ish. And let's run this code and let's see if we get any errors or not. Hopefully not. But if we do get, it's fine. We also will debug it. Sorry guys, there is one more thing that I have to mention here. That when you have the JavaScript something called as uh, something like this where you are importing the pipeline, then you can't use this JavaScript just like that. You have to make the JavaScript type as module. So always remember that when you are using transformer.js in your HTML file, when you are importing the script tag, you have to make the type as module. Okay. Now let's right click and open with live server. So now I have got the live server open here and I will just say hi. Who is Mr. Beast? So that becomes my question because that's the context I have provided. Okay. So it doesn't give uh, the correct answer. Uh, who is the most popular? youtuber and let's see so okay and then how many subscribers does he have and and you can see here guys that this is a question answering bot so the context which i provided was about mr beast how many subscribers he has and then it gives me the correct answer so who is the second most popular youtuber let's see if this is able to answer it and it says pewdiepie how many subscribers how many subscribers pewdiepie has and you can see that it gives me the correct answer out of that context that pewdiepie has got 111 subscribers whereas Mr. Beast, the topmost YouTuber, has got 116 million subscribers. And that is great, guys. Hopefully, one day we will also get uh, these type of subscribers. But for now, we can just be delusional and I can actually change this board to not say Mr. Beast has this much subscriber. I can actually change it to say that Super Lazy Coda has these many subscribers. And you can do the same for you guys. You can be delusional. You can create your own boards. You can do whatever you want with Transformer.js and you can see guys how quickly I was able to do that. With just few lines of code, you have created your own question answering chatbot. Now, for some of you guys might be interested in the entire code of this, I actually will show you how I actually coded this and that's a cheat as well because I use ChatGPT. There you go. You guessed it. I just told ChatGPT that it is an expert in web development and it can design HTML applications using CSS and JavaScript. And you can see guys that it was giving me the entire code. Obviously, I was changing my prompts. I was changing uh, the code based upon my requirement and make it look like this. 
but you can see that chat gpt was able to do that for me so you can also do the same you can actually go to chat gpt create your own bot code and just integrate transformer js like i just showed you and create them you know conversational and large language enabled or ai enabled okay now after this guys once you have created your own transformer js bot obviously if you guys have seen my hugging face faces video it is pretty easy to actually upload this bot on transformer js all you have to do is go to your profile uh, go to new space you know create a new space so i'll just give any dummy name for now and you know any dummy name you can give and just go to the static template and select the blank template okay select the blank template take this git repository clone it on your system just replace the entire code with the code that i just showed you and upload it and once you have uploaded it and you go back to your space and you open your space for example i'm gonna open it right now you can see that now you have the exact same bot running on a hugging face space guys how cool is that now i can ask on hugging face space who is the most popular youtuber okay and i can ask the bot and you can see this bot actually now is working on hugging face space what is the advantage of that it is live and you can just share it with anyone in the world and you can show off the work that you have done you can build a profile you can actually use it for your own purposes as well right if you want a certain text that you know that people usually ask questions about you can create this bot and you can keep on updating it with your text and you can just you know enjoy uh, the way it is so that was the video guys that was about transformer js and also just to give you one more idea that this was a vanilla js application and that is how uh, we took the reference from but you can see on transformer js page that you can use this pipeline api in react next years even in browser extension electron application and just as an inference in node.js as well so you can see that if you are a complete front-end developer there is nobody stopping you for from using large language models and create these beautiful ai enabled apps with the help of transformer.js so that was the video guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos if you did like this video guys then please do not forget to like and share this video with your friends if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write down in the comment section below i would be happy to read them and answer them i hope everybody has a happy learning today so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye